Now returning to our top story, the death of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. For some analysis of the technology industry pioneer's legacy, I'm joined by Ruslan Kogan. He's the founder and CEO of online electronics company Kogan Technologies, and he joins me now from Melbourne. Hi, Ruslan Kim. Kogan, what do you think? Uh, you've, looked, you've said in the past that you've looked up to entrepreneurs like Steve Jobs for inspiration. What do you think his legacy is? Look, he's one of the greatest entrepreneurs that's ever lived and he's changed the face of technology. His legacy is that he's made technology popular. He's made it more usable by everyone. The first time my mum was able to send an SMS message was when she got her first iPhone. And that's what he's done, you know. He's made, um, you know, there were music players out there before the iPod, but he totally changed the face of that. You look at the opening of any Apple store or the release of any Apple product, and it's like a rock concert. So what he's done is he's brought technology to the masses and showed them that, look, it can be easy to use and it can greatly benefit your life. As a, as a businessman yourself, if we look at the future of Apple, do you think that the company's dominance can be challenged or is it just too far entrenched for that to happen? Yeah, look, any company can't rest on its laurels. It's always got to innovate and keep creating new things. And we know that Steve Jobs was crucial to Apple when it comes to innovation. But I also think he's such a great entrepreneur that you can even see that he only resigned as CEO a few weeks ago, that um, he, he took the utmost care in ensuring that everything was well set up. And I'm sure that he's worked with some great people to make everything happen. So uh, as a company, I'm sure he's legacy will keep on living on th through the Apple brand. When Steve Jobs stepped down as CEO in August, he said that he believed Apple's brightest and its best days, most innovative days, were ahead of it. What do you think could be next for this technology giant? Yeah, look, you know, he certainly set up an amazing foundation at Apple and they keep innovating and creating new products. So, um, you know, it's only as far as the imagination goes what they could create when it comes to technology. And, you know, they've got that great ad, the Think Different ad that they've made the, you know, I'll look at YouTube and search Think Different and look at that ad a few times a day and it still gives me goosebumps. And it just shows that there's people out there that, you know, bend the boundaries and they innovate and they change the way the world works and Apple is one of those companies. Now many people are saying that marketing was really the key for Steve Jobs and, and anticipating what people want even before they knew it themselves. Yeah, well, certainly, you know, that's what it takes for a great entrepreneur to know how to innovate within the marketplace. They're an inventor in the business world. So as a businessman yourself, uh, do you look at him and think, was it his business prowess? Was it his ability to market? Was it his ability as a business leader? What are the sort of key lessons that you, you could take from him? Yeah, I think it's all of those combined into one. Uh, a good businessman is someone who knows every area of their business in the way that Steve Jobs did. So when I look at Steve Jobs, I see a great innovator, a man with a passion for what he was doing. And, um, you know, it makes us all believe that it's possible and you can achieve great things that is only limited by our imagination. Well, Rosalind Kogan, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon, sharing your thoughts. Thanks, Thanks Kim.